What if you could change the world around you, but only through and with other people? Let's think back a couple decades, for example, with the top executives, the top leaders around the world. When they go ahead and try and build their organizations, they go ahead and usually do this triangular pyramid structure where all the power is at the top and then they sort of work its way down the hierarchy. That didn't work. So they went ahead and tried to do a bottom up approach where they work from the bottom and work their way up as well. This triangular pyramid structure that also didn't work either. Well, why didn't it work, right? They tried going up, they tried going down. Well, you could have tried going left, right? It really wouldn't have mattered. What the issue is here is the actual structure that they're trying to implement overall. So what if instead we try to change the structure, right? We think of a new shape and a new mindset for the structure and we change it completely. Well, this is where constellations come into play. Constellations allow for dynamic and flexible networks of distinct yet interwoven ideas. Each member within the constellation is a singular star within that network. And then that member can go ahead and connect with other members within the organization, sharing ideas and sharing different information to actually go ahead and create a new overall power, a new information and again, new ideas because you're able to go ahead and connect. You're able to go ahead and build off of each other. If we think, for example, with computers, each computer is its own device, but you're allowed to go ahead and share information amongst each other. And that's why we're able to go ahead and create so many different things. Things continue to grow at an exponential rate because we're building off of all these different networks and building off of each other. So with this constellation structure, instead of just having information on the actual network of the internet, we can go ahead and do this with human beings ourselves. When we're in an organization, we can build off each other. We can make ourselves a little more accountable as a team, we can also just build off of the ideas that other people have, even if you know they're not the best ideas or maybe they are the best ideas. Coming together and creating this connectivity and interwoven network allows us to actually create new power and new information and ideas to implement across the entire organization. We can even think of this in any sort of business. If you have one business that's doing great, well, good for you. It's a great business. But if you have, let's say, 10 of that same business, let's say you decide to franchise out across the world or across your respective country, because you have all these different leaders, all these different uh, members within the organization, and you're allowing for this sort of connectivity and allowing for this, in a sense, vulnerability and trust across the organization, you're going to allow and empower other people within that organization to come to you with great ideas, even if perhaps they're not great ideas, but it really will start getting you to think and the rest of the organization as well. Even again, if it's not the best idea, well, you still show that you're appreciative of them trying to go ahead and think outside the box because you need a hundred bad ideas before you get one good idea, right? So you need to go ahead and allow for this, again, vulnerability, this connectivity amongst the organization to then grow and again, create this new power and these new ideas as one team. And that is the true power of giving away power when you don't just let your ego get in the way or your pride or you have to have all the power and everyone else has to listen to you but you actually go ahead and divide the power up allow other people to be responsible to have some sense of accountability people love stepping up to the plate and trying to help out the organization as a whole when they feel included and involved within that sort of power hierarchy you have the actual constellations we're all connected we all have our own responsibilities our own accountability and our own different duties within the organization but we're all willing to go ahead and trust and help each other in the organization i hope you guys enjoy taking a look at the difference between sort of this pyramid structure that doesn't allow for this trust and connectivity around the organization versus this constellation structure that allows for connectivity and growth within your organization thanks for watching